Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another video. And as you guys can see by the title, today we're comparing the Nike Kyrie 4 and the Kobe AD NXT 360s. Oh my gosh, Timmy. Oh my gosh. This is, this is the big one. This is the big one. This is the big one. Real quick, before we get into this, like this video if you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to that to stay notified to everything good from Pure Kicks. Subscribe, baby. It's the only way. You must. Kobe Bryant and Kyrie Irving, the past and the present. Oh, yeah. Kobe Bryant, as many of you already know, the Mamba, to many, the GOAT of the game. He has now brought this fantastic shoe out. It is absolutely amazing. Kyrie Irving, who many people say is the reincarnation of Kobe Bryant. Mm. The mentality they share is very, very similar. Oh, and Kobe, um, Kyrie, sorry, also draws inspiration from his game, from Kobe's game, sorry, into his game. So I'm excited to talk about their shoes. Thanks. Let's get straight into it. So as per usual, starting out of aesthetics, here in the Kyrie 4, we've had colorways. It's been out for a little minute now. The shoe looks awesome. The shoe has been looking clean. We've recently just seen a cereal pack colorway. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tasty. This colorway is very tasty. Tasty. Very tasty. Milk. So it does kill. Has been killing. When we're talking to Kobe though, we've got that fly knit, that big swoosh. This colorway even specifically, it's kind of mean. It's limey, baby. Kind of mean. The it's first colorway, the black one. Oh. Don't is this colorway. Don't even start. So, it's going to have to be a point to the Kobe. Easy money. Now moving on to the traction in both shoes. This was a super, super close one. Mm -hmm. Here in the Kobe, what we have is this crisscross individual nose traction pattern, very reminiscent of what was in the Kobe 10. And this worked like a charm. I loved it. It's a traction pattern that doesn't impress you out the box, but it doesn't make you worry about slipping and sliding. It's you put it on and you hoop. Ain't gonna worry about nothing. Don't have to worry about wiping. The traction has got you covered. Translucent is not great for outdoors. So solid rubber, of course, outdoors, but this, not good for outdoors. The traction in this was very, very good. Moving on to the Kyrie 4, we've got that usual suspect of Staircase Tetris modified herringbone, and it's been doing the trick in. from when we first introduced it, or when Nike introduced it. It has been doing the trick in all its colorways, translucent, solid. It is absolutely amazing. Of course, the outdoor as well, we get that cheeky edge because we can use it outdoors. Yeah. The Staircase Tetris modified herringbone, works like a charm. Plus the coverage as well, that wrap around which you've always had, it's beastly. Yeah. And it has been. So, I think that's a point for the Kyrie 4. Easy money once again. Staircase stretch modified modified hair, bro. Get the hang of that. <laughs> so next up, we're talking about cushioning. In the Kyrie 4, it's been an upgrade for the whole Kyrie line. We've finally seen a very soft cushioned shoe with cushion on inside the shoe along with a zoom bag in the heel, which does an absolute trick. It's plush throughout because it's full length and then you get that impact protection where you need it most in the heel. It does feel very, very good. Nothing to really go crazy about because we know what Nike has to offer, but because it's such an upgrade for the Kyrie, it does an absolute trick very, very well. Talking about what Nike has to offer. That's what you're gonna do Flo. Ladies and gentlemen, the game has changed. Nike have now combined React with Lunalon. And this experience right here, game changer. Oh my days. The response, the impact protection, the cushioning, the feel, the court feel to me. For a cushion system to feel this good, to feel this plush underneath your foot, and to still have maximum court feel is a complete madness. They balanced it out with React in the heel and Lunalon in the forefoot. It feels absolutely incredible. Nike smashed it with the Kobe's. This is not even a discussion. I don't want to hear anything more from you, Timmy, <laughs> until we move on to the next topic. Kobe takes a slice of cake with this one. It's easy, easy money. Moving on to something that we can discuss, the materials. Over here, what we have is 360 degree flying it. Flying it all over. Everywhere flying it. Flying it everywhere. Flying it everywhere. Flying it, flying it, flying it. It's all flying it, baby. Ha <laughs> ha, flying it. Now all gas aside, why is flying it dope? Because it feels absolutely amazing. 
braking time is minimal. It's super, super light. Feels amazing on your foot. Durability is not as great, but it's a Kobe shoe. Flying it feels amazing. That combined with the midsole cushioning actually makes this shoe one of the most comfortable shoes I have ever played in. I have ever played it. I have ever played it. We get it, Flo. We get it. Yeah? All right. Can I go now? Do your thing. For the Kyrie 4, we're talking materials, traditional materials here in the Kyrie, where we've got the mesh in the forefoot, we've got the suede in the back, and we've also got hints of leather as well for the heel counter. All these materials can't really hold a candle to find it, I'll be honest with you, but they get their job done. They're designed for what they're designed for, and they do just that. You've got your suede, which is a tougher material, so it adds to durability, so it definitely gets that tick on this side. But if we're talking, if we're talking overall, it's a flying thing. So moving on as per usual, talking about fit. In the Kyrie 4, we've got a great fitting shoe. True to size, materials are traditional, so they also do the trick straight away. Yeah. Breaking time isn't bad. There's a little bit of breaking time, but nothing to worry about because it does do the trick. They Once they break in, they move with the foot. They feel really nice. They're not constrictive or any of that madness. It's a great fitting shoe. Over here in the Kobe, the flying it really, really does conform to your foot. It's one thing that's really amazing about flying it is that the material molds to your foot. And every time you play in the shoe, the fit gets better and better. The only worry, obviously, is the durability, the durability of the material, sorry, but the fit itself, as long as it lasts, is amazing. So I think the point has to go to the Kobe because it's what flying it is made for. I hear that, I hear that. Almost if you get materials, you're not normally gonna get fit as well. 100%. And in this case, it, it went hard, so. Yeah. No, no brainer. <laughs> Next up, talking about the support in both shoes, over here in the Kobe, we have a usual triple threat suspect. We have a heel counter, we have the outrigger of the shoe, and we have the overall lockdown of the shoe. It's a low top shoe, so the support isn't going to be amazing. Support, I don't think, is something that they focus on this shoe, but it's not one thing I had to worry about when I was playing in the shoe. I haven't rubbed my ankle once, I haven't had to think about it rolling once. It's never crossed my mind, I'm not worried about it. So it's not sensational, it's not incredible, it's not LeBron-esque type lockdown and support, but it definitely gets the job done, so I'm happy with the support in this shoe. Over here in the Kyrie, we also have those usual suspects of an outrigger shaped shoe, along with that heel counter. The fly wire materials in the forefoot keep that forefoot locked down, and the general fit and the materials of the shoe all work together to take care of support extremely well. We go back to the traditional materials, they do what they're designed for. The suede here at the back takes care of the ankle containment, which is another massive thing when we're talking the play style of Kyrie. And even when we're talking, as you mentioned, not having to think about it, which is a big thing when it comes to basketball. The last thing you want to be thinking about is, am I going to roll my ankle? And especially in both shoes, definitely here in the Kyrie, you don't feel that. Even with the whole rounded midsole, you don't feel that whatsoever. So, with all that being said, I think the Kyrie gets the edge. Yeah, I think so too. Traditional materials come through in the clutch here. Just a little edge. Still great support in the Kobe, but the Kyrie is definitely going to contain you just a little bit better. 100%. Last but not least, talking about the price or value for your money in both of these shoes. Now, the price of this shoe is £160. The price of that shoe is £105. I started a little bit when I mentioned <laughs> the price in this shoe because I don't believe any shoe on earth, especially a performance basketball shoe, should be worth 160 pounds. For me, that's absolutely ridiculous. I get it, I get it. Nike, you gotta make your money, I get it. It's Kobe, I get it. But 160 pounds? That's mad, bro. That's mad. I get it, flying it is sexy. The React and the Lunalon is buff. The shoe feels incredible. But 160, yo? That's, that's a cool 200. That's high key 200. High key 200, bro. KDs are 130. You have pretty much the exact same thing in the KDs, isn't it? Deep dip. But it's 130. And this is 160. I don't know. I don't know. He, 105 pound. It's clearly the winner. I'm not even gonna. It's mad. It's mad. To get all of this in this shoe, and this was the shoe of last year, the shoe of 2017 for us. For 105, basically 105 pounds, 100 pounds, sorry. No brainer, no brainer. If you have the money though, 
I would recommend this shoe. <laughs> if you have the money, grab some Kobe's because these are amazing. Ball but up. if you don't have the money, which most of us don't, I believe, carries the one. So all right guys, there you have it. For the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, the Kyrie 4 has been dethroned and the Kobe has come out on top. Therefore proving that the master is still the master and the student is still the student. And of course, like this video and show your support as you guys already have. It helps us out so, so much and we really appreciate it. With that being said, a massive thank you for 6K. We're gonna continue grinding for you guys, but you guys have to make sure you subscribe, which is my next point. Hit that button to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell next to it to ensure you get notified every time we drop a new video. And of course, leave a comment down below which shoe you prefer if you've tried out both, or if you haven't, which shoe do you think you'll be picking up for the rest of the season or for the new season. Follow us on Instagram at purekicks.ig, Twitter also at purekicks underscore TW. So that's it from us. This is the Nike Carry 4. It's Kobe 360. Web your kicks. Let's get it.